la 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 Hello everybody and welcome. I'm out here and I'm in the process of uh, putting up these new racking shelving here for, for, for my pots and for the pots of other people, students, and for your pots. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come on over here and do a workshop with us? You'd enjoy it. Anyway, um, yeah, what I was going to say is that every every pottery behind ev behind the pots and the kiln and, and uh, the all of that kind of thing that goes on, there's there's quite a lot of practical considerations. And um, so today, because we're starting a, a a fresh course tomorrow for this coming week, and um, I thought it'd be. It's always nice when I've got some students coming over, it's a sort of little incentive to just do that little bit extra, put a little lick of paint here and do a few extra things. So this, this time I've been putting up these shelves, which I've been wanting to do for quite some time actually. Anyway, I finally got all the wood and the shelf brackets and everything all, all here, so that's what we've been doing. Uh, it's coming together, it's coming together, I'm quite pleased. It's going to give us four, eight, eight, 12, we should have 16 more, 16 more shelves, so that'd be really, really good. So, um, the studio is coming on slowly. As you know, this is a new, a new part of the studio, this outside bit here, and uh, uh, was really sort of come about this year, and. Um, I'm 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 happy with it. I like it. It's I like it because I've got the garden out there in front of me, and the hills in the back, in the and the blue sky, and the mountains up there, and the almond trees here. I'm looking right now as I as I look out there. I can well I'll turn the camera. You can have a look as well. What have we got? Yeah, we got these with these here. These are almond trees here on the left, and then. Further down through there, there's a fig tree, and this little this little thing here in front of me here, this whisper thing. This is an apricot tree, and then that there, that's right in front of me. That's an almond tree there, and then we've got just over there. That's a um, a, a fig tree over there, just in the on the other side of that wall. And um, yeah, it's a nice it's a nice environment. Right in front of me down here, I've got this blue plant. This is it's called borage, not porridge, but borage. <laughs> and you probably can't see it, but there, are, it borage brings into a gar into any garden incredible number of bees. So it's actually a really good plant to have because it it brings in all these pollinators, all these bees and other insects, which. They like to um, alight on its flowers. Anyway, I'll swing the camera over here. You can see a little bit more inside the the studio there. Um, you can see some more shelves there in the background, and this is a long, a long sort of table here, which is very useful to have for glazing and doing that kind of thing. And over in the in the distance over there. By the way, you'll notice that I've got these uh, skylights there, which give me extra light, which is good to have. And then we've got the doorway right over there in a the corner, leading into the, th into the throwing room, with a sink, a double sink in the corner there, where I do. You know, when you've got a, a pottery studio, you need, a, um, you know, a basin and sinks and taps and that kind of thing. Because all the time washing our hands, aren't we, us potters? <coughs> if I just carry on round with the camera a bit further, I've got some bins down there. Those blue bins, which I use for reclaiming clay. For I've got uh, a couple of different clays that go in there. I've got a, a very, very groggy, rough clay, which is a stoneware clay, but it also doubles up as a araku clay. And then there's a smoother stoneware clay, which is the one I sort of use for most of my 
sort of functional way. Uh, use that for that. And then, as you can see here, that bit up there is completely open there. Because basically this area where I'm, where we're filming right now is, is an area where we do raccoon and things like that. And um, so I want it to be fairly sort of, so the air can, can um, blow through here because you know what it's like when you're doing raccoon work, if such a lot of smoke in your eyes and everything. So. That's it folks, just a, a quick little, just to show you what I'm doing, because I didn't have a, a video clip to, to upload um, on anything sort of directly, like me making a pot as such. But it, it's all valid stuff, you know, uh, for you potters out there, or hobby potters, or um, maybe you've got some advice that you want to share with us, or you know, about your studio. Um, and if anybody's got any questions about my studio or anything, then feel free to ask. No secrets. Absolutely no secrets. Open book. Ask me anything you like. If I know the answer, I'll tell you. If I don't know it, I won't tell you. <laughs> but I'll tell you that I don't know it. So, okay, Simon Leach saying, stay with it, keep practicing. You'll get there. Bye for now.